Silent treatment from a narcissistic person is a form of punishment. It is a form of control and it is their way of making you feel bad, gaslighting you and getting you to either apologize to them or feel uncomfortable in some way or another in your relationship with them. As I said, they use the silent treatment to inflict pain, to punish, to make you feel inferior to them. It's a passive aggressive way sometimes to take the upper hand and maintain control. It, it's done to avoid the real issue often. So if a narcissist is talking to you and you're having an argument and they just go silent and walk away, or sometimes they just go silent for no reason, they're avoiding often what needs to be talked about, what needs to be worked through, any anything that relates to having real relationship with anyone. It's avoidance and, and dismissal, right? So the silent treatment just dismisses anything and everything around it. The thing about a silent treatment, some people can walk away. Okay. So like, say you are a person that just gets overwhelmed and you need to step away when you're having a discussion with someone that gets heated or argumentative and you need the time, you need to go silent for a little while, or you need a day or you need a break. If you're doing this regularly, it might be something to like look into on how to better communicate your need for that space and how to get that space in a healthy way. If someone is doing it to you regularly, and it's without warning and it's it's in extreme situations where you're like why are they even that angry what are they doing what's happening or if they use it and they stand there and like stare at you with their silence that's a toxic silent treatment that someone's giving so just understand that there's a difference we all need space sometimes and we all need to step away and not engage in conversation with someone when it's getting heated sometimes that can be okay but it needs to be handled with healthy communication in order for it to not be kind of toxic to the other person. Make sense? All right. They use it as a form of punishment, not as a cool down. That's what I'm getting at. They're not trying to cool down so they can come back and discuss it later. Often after the silent treatment, they'll come back like nothing's wrong, or they'll come back and expect you to grovel and beg for the, um, a, for them, their attention being positive again, right? One way you can know if you're experiencing the silent treatment and it's toxic for you is if you're changing your behavior in your life to avoid it. You're walking on eggshells so that you don't have to have this person go silent on you. So what does it look like? Okay, silent treatment, refusal to speak. It can look like not acknowledging what someone says. So sort of this passive aggressive silence where they just pretend they don't hear you. Acting ignorant about something that's brought up and then going silent about it. It's an invalidation that makes you feel inferior to them. It makes you feel like you want to engage with them, even if, oh my gosh, I have people I talk to who are learning to gray rock, okay? They're learning to speak to a narcissist only as needed. And when the si narcissist goes silent on them, when they have an altercation or an, any kind of like, disagreement and the narcissist goes silent they find themselves trying to pull the narcissist back to engage more they find themselves more engaged with the narcissist than they would have had they n had the narcissist not gone silent and they stayed in the argument so it is really effective so one thing about silent treatment is the way we receive it it's registered in the part of our brain where we receive the same signals of physical pain. So it actually does hurt to have someone give you the silent treatment. It, our brains legitimately receive it as physical pain. It is actually incredibly toxic because this is how it affects other people. Having someone give you the silent treatment, have you ever had that happen? Because it can feel like you are rejected. It can feel like you're excluded. It can feel all kinds of ways that give you low self-esteem, makes you invisible, unheard, unwanted, right? It, it, it takes you in a relationship with someone else and eliminates the you from it. And by silencing themselves, they're basically saying you're not worth the time of day to give this conversation any more attention and walking away, leaving you feeling all kinds of things, none of it good. If you can get to the place where when the narcissist gives you a silent treatment, you see it as a vacation from their endless nonsense, that's excellent and incredible and yay. 
But most people, that's really difficult and it's not an easy place to get to. So what do you do about the silent treatment? What do you do when someone's giving you the silent treatment? Frankly, I walk away and do not engage anymore. If someone were to give me the silent treatment right now, I'd be like, okay, fine. Done with this conversation and every other one after because that is not a healthy way to communicate. It is not, it's not useful in a friendship or otherwise and it's childish it's childish and boring from where i sit and i don't need that somebody evoking pain in me for no reason so if you are being given the silent treatment and you live with this person or they are around you gray rock that go use the time to do something else recognize that this literally is being registered in your brain as a painful experience that's legitimate and also logically it's childish, terrible behavior that isn't worth the pain you're feeling. So do your best to self-care yourself through that and talk yourself through it. Find other things to do. Find other distractions. Get on with your life and let them be silent. I am Lise Colucci. I am one of the life coaches at Queen Being. And I'm here to help you if you need anything. So check out the information in the description of every video where there's links to coaching, group coaching, or otherwise. And if you need anything, my email's down there too. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye-bye.